Just got back from Thanksgiving. I've been spending this morning doing some contemplating. Just been having a hard time kind of organizing my plans for the near future. As far as like this build goes. Uh, mostly just because, you know, I've been starting to do my electrical stuff. I don't know what I'm doing, even more so than usual. <laughs> I've been buying stuff, I pretty much have all the stuff I need at this point, and I've been watching so many videos and I've been reading so much, but I'm just starting to face the fact that I'm not going to be able to just like figure it out ahead of time and then just do it, right? I think I'm just going to have to start, <laughs> just start doing it, and I'm definitely going to realize like probably multiple times that I don't have the right parts or that I've got something wrong. I'm just gonna have to expect that. So I can just imagine that I'm gonna start doing something, gonna have to order something, wait a couple days, start doing the next thing, order something else, wait a few days. I'm not gonna try to do it in like one week and make it one video. I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna do whatever I can do with what I have on hand at the moment. So the next several videos are probably gonna have scattered little bits of what I am managing to get done that week. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it one step at a time. I'll finish whenever I finish. <laughs> The other thing that is making it feel very difficult to get my brain organized right now is that as I am getting started with the electrical, I'm having to think about how this back area is going to be organized. Got to, to decide what's the best way for me to lay everything out back here so that I can try to maximize the space as much as possible. And I'm definitely not going to do it like the best possible way the first try. <laughs> Everything I'm doing right now is a huge mess and this is just like a maze of information that I'm trying to make my way through and I keep going in circles and I have just accepted defeat. I'm not going to be organized when I'm doing this. I'm just going to have to do it one step at a time and mess up a lot. But that's what I'm going to do. So. That felt like just a really long explanation where I didn't really say anything. Did any of that make sense to you? The theme of this video is chaos. Anyway, I got my lights today. These are the lights that are going to go in the ceiling. They arrived this morning, so right now I'm going to try and test these lights and test my wiring that I have that I did the other day. And after I do that, I have no idea what's next. Because no, don't actually have any power in my bus. What's that thingy? Ugh. So, my dad told me I could just use jumper cables and my car battery and uh, pretend that's my bus battery for a minute while I'm testing things. Let's see if I can figure this out. These are jumper cables, right? Red is positive, black is negative. Why is this so gooey? This is seriously gross. Wait, what's the thing where you have to do it in a certain order or they'll spark at you? I'm scared of that. Do I do negative first? Do I do positive first? I do positive first, right? Yikes. I don't even know why I started doing this, because I have to go have lunch with my friend right now. I'll be back. Well... I went over to my friend's house at 3 o'clock on Saturday. And it is now 11 a.m. on Monday, so it's a long lunch, but <laughs> ready to get back at it now, at least. wires which eventually are going to connect to my real battery just like clamp them into these jumper cables I guess I don't know if I understand this all right am I about to get electrocuted okay red one clamped 
first, and the, bl the black one's just dangling there, and that's fine. Okay, got that one. Ah! What if I have to hold it there for a minute while I'm trying to arrange it? Is it going to spark at me? Because I want to hurry and just let go of it and jump away from it as soon as it clamps, but I have to get it in the right position. No, you don't want to jump away from it at all. Yeah, I do. Just do it? Yep, now. Slowly? Yep. Or do I let go of it and jump away? Okay. Okay, I'm clamping it now. I'm clamping it now. Ah, it sparked! It scared me! Okay, that's as bad as it is, then that's okay, I think. Why didn't you clap it when you clapped? Because it scared me. Here we go, here we go. All right, that was more dramatic than it needed to be. At least I know how to jump a car now. What I'm trying to do right now is just test that I did all my switches correctly. So I'm gonna put just one light in each room at the ends of the wires that I already have and then hook all the wires together that will eventually be my switches, give them power and then I'll know that they're turning off the right things and nothing else, and hopefully I don't burn my bus down while I'm doing this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it seems that I've been riding through for some time I chase love, the dreams should have been behind You told me you go on a sea, play the mummy you in the end You never know until you've seen it on fire, Okay. Now I have one light attached in every room plus two in the bedroom because that's how I did that, I guess. And all the switches I put together made sure everything was carefully placed, not touching any other metal. So if I'm understanding this correctly and if I wired everything correctly, once I reattach those jumper cables to the ends of the wires, all seven of my lights should turn on. So let's see if that happens. Oh, oh it's like turning on Christmas lights. Okay. This one's not on. Oh wait, so neither of the bedroom ones. Did I hook up the bedroom switch? This one's on. That one's on. This one's on. This one's good. And that one's good. So just the bedroom lights didn't work. So I'm gonna disconnect this and check that I actually put the bedroom switch together. Okay, I just had the, I hadn't put the switch together, but I put it together and now my bedroom lights are also on. So now I'm gonna take these back off again. Oh, I'm getting way too comfortable with these things. I shocked myself. So now what I want to do is make sure that I have all my switches placed correctly. I think I'm going to go through one by one and try to just have each room turned on, like the lights in each room turned on independently of any of the other lights to make sure. Because I know at first I was like accidentally putting things together or putting switches before where they should have been uh, putting connections in the wrong place so that like some of the lights couldn't be on if the other rooms weren't on. So I want to make sure I didn't end up doing any of that. I guess I'm just going to start front to back. Okay, off, off. 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 And on, which means that the front section is good, one of six sections are good. Let's do the next one. Should just need to, oh, I didn't disconnect those. <laughs> I don't really understand how I went from um, too terrified to even try this to so unafraid that I'm becoming negligent in like 20 minutes, but okay. So I disconnected it, so now I think I should just have to Disconnect this switch. Reconnect this switch. And now should be my living room light that comes on. 
And it is. Okay, so that's two of six. Three of six. Four of six. Five of six. <laughs> and that makes all six areas that lit up when I wanted them to and only when I wanted them to. Oh, do you guys know what this means? I did this right. That was satisfying. I do think I want to come back once it's dark out and turn all of them on just to get an idea of how much light these things put off in case I need more lights in each area, but I don't feel like I do. I have like six in most of the like big areas. That should be fine, right? We'll see. We'll see tonight. Okay, so that job's done. Do you know what I just realized? <laughs> I did not need to use my car. I could have done all of that with my little power station. <laughs> what was wrong with me? Doesn't matter. Still a win. Alrighty, the next thing I have on my list for today is testing out my solar panels. So I heard that you're supposed to test them and make sure they're working before you actually install them, which makes sense. So I'm gonna figure out how to do that now. I watched a YouTube video. It doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Seems like the hardest part is probably going to be figuring out how to work the voltage meter thingy, but I can do that. They're so little. VOC 23.9, IMP 82.98. So I'm not sure I actually have the right type of meter that I want, or if I do, I don't really know how to work it. So I figure there's no point in wasting my time on that, and I'm just going to wait until somebody can either teach me how to use that meter, or just wait and test the panels once I have the rest of my system set up, but before I've like glued the panels down. So that would mean that it's time for me to start putting together my solar system, which is terrifying, but luckily this brings me back to what I mentioned earlier which is that before I start putting my system together and putting it into place, I need to figure out what I'm doing with this big old water tank uh, because I don't wanna be like locking it into place before I've actually figured out what I'm doing with it. Which means that right now, it's time for me to figure out a wee bit of my plumbing. Okay, so from what I understand, and somebody please tell me if I'm misunderstanding, I need a hole near the bottom for, like to go to the bus, I need a hole near the top to fill it up, and I need like a little hole on the top to vent it. Is that right? I think this thing has like not holes, but like templates for holes. Where are they? Okay, here they are. Probably would have flipped this around then, huh? Ooh, I should probably sweep this out first. So there's this black little box thingy here, it's, it covers up the fuel fill thingy. And because of that, this can't sit against the wall. And so I have like a good six or eight inches of totally like unusable space right here. I'm not going to be able to access it. I'm wondering if I should put some sort of like compartment in my headboard where I can like reach down in there and put like 
shove stuff down there that I don't need to access very often. I don't know. If anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. But I've got now all these different like fittings here. They're all on this side. I think this is where I want them. The only problem I could foresee with this is that the heater is right here. So I wouldn't want it to like get too hot being next to the heater, but I don't know if that matters. Pretty sure this is gonna be the location I'm gonna want this in. It fits actually perfectly. I'm kind of thinking like if I just like screw a board here into the floor to hold it in place, is that good enough? Or do I need something more secure? Either way, it's placed where I need it to be placed. I don't think the overall location or position of this is going to change, which means I can start to bring all of my electrical components down here and try to start figuring out how I'm going to organize them. So my plan, so what you're looking at right now is this will be the wall, the like half wall between under the bed. So this is hallway, this is under the bed. My plan was to have drawers here that would come back here. I don't know how far I would want them to come back. Pretty deep, I think. Maybe like to the end of this, and then it would be a little wider than that. All the other space is left for me to work with my electrical components. That battery is so heavy. Why are batteries so heavy? Oh. Okay, so right now I just have one very heavy 200 amp hour battery. I'm guessing I'm probably gonna wanna upgrade and add a little more probably soon-ish. But for now, this is what I've got. And it fits right here. Can I have it right up next to the water tank? Is that fine? Also, in the event that I do upgrade, can I like stack it on top? Is that fine? Because if so, I think this is the perfect spot for it. My drawers would come right there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so tell me what you guys think about this. Would it be possible? Uh, uh. Would it be possible or a good idea if I made sort of like a wall here, you know, right where this edge of the solar, uh, the water tank is? Not like a super permanent wall, but one that could maybe be removed if necessary. And that could be where all my components live. Is there a reason why that's a bad idea? Because that seems like it would be ideal. So let's see, what do I need? My phone. <laughs> so solar panels on the roof to my breaker or combiner box. Oh, here's another question I have. The whole combiner box issue has been really just an obstacle that I cannot overcome. I thought that I needed one, so I bought one, and then I realized that I had bought the wrong one for my solar panels, so I bought another one. So right now I have two combiner boxes in my room, and then I realized that I don't actually think I need one. So I did so, so much research, read myself in circles, looked at so many different people's videos, looked at some people who have like pretty much the exact same setup that I have who didn't use it and I'm coming to the conclusion that I don't think I need a combiner box. I have three 175 watt solar panels and I have this breaker that I'm going to put in between the panels and the charge controller. So I'm pretty sure I don't need the combiner box but if that's going to be a tragedy for me somebody please tell me now and I won't return the ones I've got. So solar panels to this breaker to the charge controller. Breaker, charge controller. Oh, my phone's not very good at recognizing my face. Charge controller to the battery bank. Battery bank to another breaker, which I don't have. Do I just use the same breaker? To the inverter. Inverter to automatic transfer switch, I don't have that. Breaker box, I don't have that yet. 12 volt distribution box, I have that. Boop. 12 volt stuff, ba 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 ba. Shore power, automatic transfer switch. Battery charger, I don't have that yet. Alternator, isolator, don't have that yet. So I should 
I should buy that stuff. But I feel like it could all kind of fit on this wall. Tell me what you think. Tell me if there's a reason that I cannot do that or should not do that. But it seems like a great idea to me. It also seems like I should stop here and do a whole nother heap of research before I move on. So, I guess that's gonna be it for now. Uh, until I test out my lights tonight. I can't really think of anything else that I can do right now without regrouping, so I think that's gonna be it. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I feel like I've got plenty.